guys, steel's prices are insane. I don't know how they've gotten away with it so long. Like truly, I don't understand how they've been doing this since the 90s. As we were hanging out in the office thinking of video ideas for you guys, we stumbled across some old family photos, some old photos of the shop, and I found this old picture of me in high school. And this picture is from 2007. This is me rocking out with an old 270. And I was just noticing all the pricing that Steel used to post on these acrylic banners in the showroom. And this made me so curious that I had to look back even further and I looked at this older picture of my mom and dad on the counter learning how to use their new computer system back in 1995. And there's some prices in the back. Same type of acrylic boards, but these were the ones from 1995. You could see a hedge trimmer, a pole saw, that's a BR 400 at the time and an edger. You can barely see the corner of it. There's another picture I can see the price on it. We're gonna compare those prices back in 1995 and in 2007 to the prices today and see how they hold up. Guys, check it out. Everything in the world that you see the price goes up over time, right? Like for instance, a dollar in 1996, that's like roughly when that photo was taken. One dollar then is equivalent to one dollar and 92 cents today. Stick with me, it's gonna make sense. For example, a gallon of milk in 1996 was around 250. A gallon of milk today is around 450, almost double, right? And that lines up with that 1.92. That's all stuff I found on Google because I was just like, how are they doing this? How are the prices what they are if all this time has passed, 30 years have gone by and they've managed to do this with their price. I don't really understand. The average gallon of gas was around 68 cents. Gas today, you know, around 3.30, 3.45, depends on where you are, what your city is, whatever. The average Chevy truck back in 1995, $17,500 roughly. And the average truck today is around 44 and up, right? And that's like a baseline work truck. The average house in Florida was around 100,000. That's a three bedroom house. And today it's around 375. So everything's gone up, right? And at least double, maybe even triple in a lot of these cases. Steel right now is running a promotion where a lot of steel product is gonna be on sale all the way through May 31st. And it's gonna be priced at the same prices that it was almost 30 years ago. Look here, an FS90R used to be in 2007 was 309.95. If you were to buy one today with this promo going on, that same trimmer, just the updated better version, the FS91R is 309, the exact same, 99 instead of 95. It is only five cents more. That is from 2007. Guys, what the heck? If you were to look back at that photo all the way back in 1995, it's an edger back then, I don't have a string trimmer in this picture, but I have an edger. In 1995, it was selling for 319. If edgers were to increase at the same rate that everything else did, they should be costing you $606 right now. And obviously they don't. An edger today is selling for 349. That is only $30 difference and it's been 30 years. So it's only inflated a dollar a year. Like that is mind boggling. Guys, there's so many things on sale right now. It's crazy. They have so many products on this list that they are marking down just to blow them out, I think. And it's kind of blowing my mind. You can see it for yourself. I left this promotion link in the description. You can see all the prices there. Guys, and we're also selling a lot of these products on our website right now. Battery products you can buy on our website and accessories you can buy on our website. And these promotions will apply there as well. You might ask the question, why are they discounting it? And you know, typically the reason things increase in price it's because the cost of manufacturing increases, right? The average salary goes up, the average wage goes up. You have manufacturing ship overseas and that's how they can keep their price really low, you know? But that is the opposite story with steel. Steel has imported all their manufacturing from Germany to the US. Almost 98% of the products in my showroom are made in the United States. They have somehow managed to maintain their prices for the last 30 years, even though they're using domestic labor and domestic manufacturing. I, I honestly, it is mind boggling that they're able to do that. And it's, it's because steel has developed incredible systems and procedures for creating their product. They have robotics that help manufacture the technical and time consuming pieces. If you go through Steel's factory, it's an incredible dance of machinery and man building these products. And that's how they're able to keep these prices so low. As time has advanced, Steel, rather than just 
shipping all their manufacturing to China and using cheaper labor over there have brought everything here where they can control the manufacturing process and they've reinvested time and time again in machinery and robotics to hone in their processes. So really the people who are going to benefit from that is you guys. So if you need some steel product right now is the time to buy it because it is the lowest it's going to be for a long time and it's the lowest it's been in a long time and it's like you're buying steel back in 1995 nearly. Sales like this don't happen often almost never at all. So take advantage of it, enjoy. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, put your bell on. We'd love to get you more videos like this. See ya.